Yes, guys, uh, I got a request about how to uh, calibrate the tool for the uh, GJ Lux Fortress uh, Strong Bolt Decoder. Now, if you're like me and you use this tool often, uh, you do find that it goes out of calibration a bit. And this is simply because, uh, obviously, I don't need to explain the tool again because you know, I've done enough videos on it. Um, but once the uh, reader wire, uh, lever reader, sorry, and the key holder are in there. Uh, it's this, when you're in live jobs in a vice, it's fine, you can pop that in and you know, take your readings. But when you're in a door frame, you'll find that you've got no room to wiggle this. Now, invariably, what'll happen, in fact, I'll just show you now, invariably what'll happen is, so let's just put our wire in. Uh, all right, let's put our key in, hook it, yeah. See, that's lovely into place there, as you can see, okay? But when you're in the door frame, so let's not forget the door frame is gonna be about there by your eye, trying to get that wire, even if you turn this, you can't get enough, you know, turn on it to get the actual end of the wire in. I've tried doing it with the wire already and it's, it's fucking hard work, so invariably what you end up having to do is take that out twist it a little bit and work your way in like so uh, and this will you know after a prolonged use will alter the uh, calibration okay so what I carry in my van as you can see I've got a, a fortress deadbolt with a clear perspex cover on it um, and the levers are already set going up in order okay so it goes seven six five four three okay and that's just the purpose of calibration i find you don't really need to do two and one they're pretty uh self-explanatory but uh you know if the readings aren't quite right on your lower levers then you are going to get a problem and it can take a while uh so i'm i think i'm pretty much calibrated but no i'm not uh as i'm looking at it in fact let me just tilt that down mm. So you can see what I can see. So this should be uh, reading a seven. Uh, piss off. So that should be reading a seven. You can see how easy they can click off as well. That should be reading a seven, but as I'm, this is what I mean. As I'm looking at it now, it's underneath a seven. And then the next one should read a six. Uh, as I'm looking at it though, in fact, let me just yeah, let's get you out of the way because I'm struggling here to see. That should be a six, but it's not reading a six, and that should be a five. And it's just underneath a five as I'm looking at it. Uh, and obviously the next one should be a four. This, is, this just makes it easier. Uh, that's underneath a four. And the next one obviously should be a three. He says. Next one should be a three. And it's just underneath a three. So basically, I'm sorry you couldn't see that get proper guys, but it's just I was trying to uh, sort my own angles on. So uh, basically these, I'm going to take it off now in fact. So let's just undo this. Take our tool out. Okay. Now if you look at the reader wire there, sorry. See that little grub screw there? Okay, so that, that holds the wire in place. Now, the more you funny about with it, the more tendency the, you know, the handle's gonna slip just a fraction and it's gonna go off sync. So, you know, they have thought of everything. They come with a little hex screwdriver. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is loosen it a little touch and then, you know, loosen it a little touch, move the wire just a fraction, okay? Because it was reading slightly under, just move it, I mean, just a fraction 
is all it takes and then tighten it back up and test it again it is a bit of trial and error okay guys uh, but you do need to make sure you get it bang on especially with them lower levers because they can cause you, cause you a fucking nightmare if you don't get it bang on okay so I'm just gonna loosen it just a smidge and then we're gonna turn it just a smidge okay I mean that was just a smidge so straight away we're going to go back in. I've probably not got it calibrated right just yet. It does take a few attempts. I'm just showing you what to do. Um, so in you go. And we're going to go all the way to number seven. Put our wire in. Number seven being the closest lever to us. Um, and then see if we are anywhere near. Nope, still not right. I can tell that because seven should be... Practice well, it is horizontal. Uh, let me just lift that up so you can see. Can you see how it's not quite horizontal? It's pointing down slightly, okay, guys. So it does need calibrating again. Uh, so I'm going to carry on fanning about until we get it bang on, and then I'm hopefully going to show you it recalibrated. And don't forget, you have to recalibrate your right hand wire as well, okay? So give two minutes and let's sort this out. Right, so I've finished calibrating. It did take uh, about 10-15 minutes of uh, fannying about. Um, so, basically, I've had to undo the grub screw uh, with the weight. It, it is, I'm not going to lie, it is tricky that in it is good to have a perspex cover to, just to get it bang on. So we know that all the, we know the levers read 76543. Uh, so what we're going to do is bring it all the way towards us. See how easy it slips off when it's a low lever, but can you see how that now is bang on at three o'clock? So we know that's a seven. So I'm going to try and show you now one handed without knocking it off onto the next fucking lever. Uh, hopefully, you can see that there. So that the arrow straight up, uh, and that should be reading a seven. There we go. Uh, and obviously the next one should be a six. There we go. So let's just check this out. Six. Yep. Yeah, so that's calibrated. Uh, next one should be five. Okay. Five, yeah, pretty much bang on. And um, that should be a four. It's bang on as I'm looking at it. I hope it's the same for you. And last but not least, should be a three. There we go. There we go. So we know that the uh, the left wire is calibrated. Uh, so all that's to do now is to flip the lock round and do it right mounted, okay guys? And uh, make sure everything reads the same on that. So this is the uh, right mounted one. Uh, I've not calibrated it. It is very, very slightly out, but it'll do for now. Basically, I like to gauge off the, the 7 reading, so I've uh, pushed it all the way to the, uh, to the back of the lock as we're looking at it now. So we know that's a lever number seven. You can pretty much see it's more or less at the, well, nine o'clock position now. Um, so we'll just pop this on. It's always a good gauger. Uh, that's, camera's a bit up there, so let's just see if we can. Well, that's not going to do at all, is it? In fact, spare with us one sec, guys. Dee 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 dee. There we go. So, if you can see this now, one second. It should look to you. Yeah, that's seven. Uh, we'll just hold that there. Uh, pull it towards this. Oh, jump two, so that should be a five. We'll just see if it uh, looks like it from where you're from. Yeah. Pretty much bang on five, and uh, then it should be a four. 
Just check it. Oop. Check out this 100. Yeah, from my airline, it's a four. Uh, yeah, you see that, guys? Yeah, so that's pretty much calibrated. Um, yeah, sorry about the long-winged thing, but uh, someone asked for help about calibrating them. Basically, that's the only way to do them. So I like to carry a fortress in the van. Uh, this is the one I've got it all set up. Uh, levers 76543. Uh, I don't need to do two or one because, you know, like I said, it's the bottom levers really that you need to make sure you've got bang on. Uh, so, hope that was helpful. Enjoy watching, guys, and take care.